People may not be aware of the relentless work that you've done for UNICEF for the past 20 years. How did you come to be involved with UNICEF and, and what does your role entail? Uh, well, my, <laughs> I became involved through Audrey Hepburn in about 89, 90. She called me and asked me if I would co-host the Danny Kaye International Children's Awards. One area where you have worked tirelessly is in Africa. Um, can you tell me a little bit about some of the things that you've seen there and the direct action that UNICEF has taken in improving lives there? Uh, well, for example, you know, one, one, one of the important things is basic education of children. We were very much involved with immunisation, uh, with going from town to town, the elimination of polio, for example. We've seen through archive footage and through photos the enthusiasm that you've brought to, to Africa and it's the next place where the Queen's Baton is going to visit as part of the Commonwealth Games. I mean, what sort of atmosphere can it expect when the Baton arrives in Africa? From children, uh, an extraordinary thing in Africa and around the world where, where you go to a village and the children will come out, a visitor is coming and they want to sing and they want to be happy and I think the baton will be greeted, greeted with tremendous enthusiasm. And I think it's wonderful that the Commonwealth Games is united in as a, being a, a charity uh, linked up with UNICEF here with Glasgow 2014. I know it's a Welsh song. We'll keep a welcome in the hillside, we'll keep a welcome in the dales, but I think they'll keep a welcome in Glasgow for the Commonwealth Games. Be wonderful.